Hey everybody, it's Leroy from Leroy Gaming, back with another Outrider build video for you. Today, I'm going to be providing you the first of my Lazy Boy builds. These are meant to be builds for the post New Horizon update. So the whole idea here is to do a trickster build that is based all around the Trespasser set. We're actually going to, in the example, use all five pieces. The reason I call them my lazy builds is because we're avoiding the super painful farming for the perfect purple optimized gear. So if you're somebody that's especially new to the game or doesn't want to have to farm out a ton of super customized purple uh, loot to get an effective build, well, this build is going to be for you. It is still highly effective. Within the gear section, I will recommend which pieces you can replace if you do want to farm for the epics. However, my performance videos are utilizing the gear as shown here, and you can easily clear CT15 content, no problem. Anything you do above and beyond this is just icing on the cake. As of all my videos, you're going to see timestamps below, so you can jump around whether you want to see the skills, the equipment, the skill trees. You can see the CT15 playthrough if you're new and you want to see what the gameplay is like, or if you want to kind of see me talk about how the gameplay strategy for the skills and gunplay is. With that being said, as always, guys, if you do like this content, drop a like. I love the comments. I want to create new content for editors, Outriders in the new year, especially with the new expansion coming up. So I'd love to hear what kind of stuff you want to see from me. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at my Trickster Lazy Boy build. All right, as always, we're going to go ahead and start by looking at the skills. Now, we're going to be using Time Rift combined with Hunt the Prey as our two big cooldown abilities. And then we're going to be keeping Twisted Rounds up as much as possible. So this is for damage, increasing your damage. This is for positioning and procking some of your buffs. And then Time Rift, not only is it get great crowd control, but it's going to, based on some of the mods, help us spread a bunch of our damage and also make it that we basically have infinite ammo as long as we're shooting targets that are elevated. Now, when it comes to the skill tree, we're going pretty much a pure assassin build. There is one variable that you can make if you'd like. You're going to notice here that we're going to go pretty much pure top tree. We are going to be going shotgun master. We are going and getting uh, shotguns. This is the only viable way to play this playstyle, in my opinion. We are going to be picking up disruptive firepower because, again, we're going to be spamming this to keep our weapon damage buff up. We're also going to be using Outrider Executioner. This is what the teleport is for. Also, the teleport is going to let us get our ammo back, which is going to be nice. The one big variable here is you can choose to get transfusion or not. Now, if you do not have the appropriate gun for this, the optimal gun, and your gun does not have weapon leech on it, this is pretty much mandatory so you can get some self-healing on outside of your close proximity kills. I like to keep this on regardless, but if you want, you can take this off if you have the appropriate gun. And you can uh, buff some of your damage. So you can, for example, get death probability. This is the easiest one. And just going to increase your da weapon damage by an additional 8%. That's the easiest trade-off, in my opinion. You don't have to worry about armor piecing, remember, because as long as you have your gun buff up, all your damage is going to, your basic ammo is going to turn into anomaly ammo. And it's going to bypass all armor anyways. So a very simple setup here. Now let's talk about weapons and armor. We're going to start with the weapons first of all. The gun you really, really actually want is your death shield. Now do note that I am using the transmog system because I wanted this to look nice and kind of, you know, everything symmetrical and kind of meshing. So uh, this is the look for the Anamoy, which is this gun right over here. Uh, and I think it looks better, but the death shield is what you want. Now, there's two things you need here. Number one, we're getting this because it naturally comes with Fortress. And in order to do enough damage optimally, you want to put on Dark Sacrifice as your second tier 3 mod. It's incredibly powerful. Now, the other thing that's big about this gun is it has Weapon Life Leech on it. Notice when you buff it up, it has 18%. This is the majority of your self-healing consistently outside of killing things. And so this is what I meant. If you have a different gun that doesn't have 
a life leech. Like, for example, if you have Anomaly Effigy, again, this is also transmog because this gun is hideous in its natural state. This one has an insane single shot damage. I like Concentration Blast on it. It is a slower firing weapon, so I do think Death Shield is better. But this one's kind of fun. The downside is it has no weapon leech so in this case you would definitely want that node on the skill leech but again this is totally just for fun for me this is the gun you want if you don't quite have this gun it's a little tougher but bottom line you would just want some sort of weapon as you're leveling up that has some weapon life leech on it and then the best possible mods you can get as a holdover and you want a shotgun that is an automatic shotgun for ease of play optimally uh, the slower shotguns, the pump-up sh action shotguns are just a little harder to play with in my opinion, but some people like them. Now because we're going to be trying to keep twisted rounds on this up 24-7 or as close as possible, you don't even need a secondary weapon. You're not going to swap over to do any moaning wins or anything like that. Just need that one gun. Outside of that, for all you beginners out there, just make sure you do have level 50 weapons on both of them doesn't matter what stats or anything else because that is going to impact your average level and that is important for your scaling stats so uh, other than that just pick whatever you want now when it comes to gear again i want to re-emphasize this is a lazy build meaning we are picking up all five legendary pieces i have found that ever since the, uh, the changes to the legendary drop rates the ability to basically gamble legendaries it is just so much easier to get the legendary pieces you want and kind of farming and upgrading greens or blues to the right purples or being super lucky and find the right purples to offset traditionally the gloves and the boots and most of these sets. Uh, it's a lot of work and you can still do it, but because the timers aren't there anymore, you don't really need to do it. And if you're just a beginner or you're just building your first trickster, this is a great way to just put this together. So there are going to be some modifications and I will also mention to you which pieces you can change or I would recommend upgrading if you were to want to go and min-max it uh, nevertheless. So we start with the Trespasser Kyle. This already comes of long range which is great. You definitely want to triple the range of your time rift. This is huge. You can impact more enemies, get more of them elevated. And on this you want to apply uh, hunt the prey which is a tier 3 mod this is your optimal way of getting your ammo reloaded as long as you keep an eye on your ammo and never go to zero you can always have infinite ammo it can go fast though so do be careful next for the chest piece also the trespasser chest piece now unfortunately even though this has perfect stats and perfect stats for this is bonus firepower close range damage cooldown reduction you are going to have a wasted mod slot here, unfortunately, because both of the mods that come with the weapon offer the slow trap and you can only replace one. So we replace the bottom one and we put personal space on here, which grants you 25% bonus to close range weapon damage, which is insane because all your damage is going to be close range of your shotgun. So this is one slot actually that if you were to min max, you're going to want to replace this with an epic and so you still want to get personal space on here but you can basically roll any tier one or tier two that you want and bloodlust for example is a really really good one that you can get on there it's common enough to get and so that's going to give you a nice increase to your base firepower it's good in every firepower build so that's a really nice traditional one you can get on there for example and then apply personal space afterwards but you're perfectly fine just like this as you, you'll see in the video now when it comes to the legs again perfect stats and you really don't need to change anything it has a, a tier 3 mod called and another one which is actually a really good ammo conserver it says shots on enemies affected by the skill do not consume ammo because you're going to be just constantly spamming time rift you're going to be able to shoot enemies rapid fire with your auto shotgun and save a ton of ammo so this is actually pretty darn good and then whenever you are running low again you'll just teleport behind any of the enemies to refill your ammo 
and then a Geiger's Wave. I think that's how you pronounce it. Every enemy affected by the wave receives vulnerability. So this is really, really nice because it's basically going to make it so that they take an extra 15% damage, which is rock solid on there whenever you... Um, whenever you target something with timer of which you're gonna all your key targets you're gonna target with this so this is a pretty solid one and you should be able to easily get it as you level up just off your gear as it is a tier one mod now for gloves gloves have two out of three optimal stats close range damage and cooldown reduction we just don't have firepower which is a bit of a bummer but survivability some health isn't horrible at the same time, it comes with actually quite good and optimal um, mods on here. You don't have to change anything. Double time, enemies are suspended in the air two times longer, which is huge. And the key to this build is this mod right here, Pain Transfer. So 20% of weapon damage, which is what you care about, and 30% of anomaly damage dealt to one affected enemy will be transferred to another affected enemy. So basically, when you have stuff up in the air and you're shooting one target, uh, it's affecting another one, you hit a different one, it transfers. So you're basically just doing extra 20% damage to targets. And most of the time, you'll have between two and four targets. Your shotgun will sometimes hit multiple targets. So this actually ends up adding up and being a tremendous percentage of your damage over a run. And then you're gonna have your boots. Now your boots, again, Two out of the three, your three mods are amazing. And they also come with a great tier three mod, Stare Into the Barrel. This is one of the few builds that I love using this with. So it boosts your firepower by over 10,000 for each enemy in close range, which by default is 10 meters. Stacks up with 50 time, uh, five times, so it's between 10 and 50,000 base firepower. This is great. And you can just sh throw on Sharp Eye on there for you. If you don't have that mod, uh, Bloodlust, again, as mentioned before, is a good one. So this is a very, very good kind of base item. Now, if you needed to replace a second item, you don't want to replace the helmet or the legs because they have optim optimal stats. So you would obviously replace the chest piece. And then what you would basically do is you would replace either one of these. Depending on what mods you have, you could basically roll, if you really wanted to, something that has that firepower in addition to close range and cooldown reduction just remember you need to naturally roll like a double time on there for example or again here this one's a little harder to replace because you have two tier three mods which is not something you can duplicate so you would need to get like a bloodlust on here for example or another mod that you would want so again i would lean more to replacing these gloves roll something of double time and then you would apply pain transfer on it and again, what you would basically do is you would disenchant your Trespasser Talons, your gloves here, to get that Pain Transfer mod into your kind of savings bank, and then apply it to those Epic Gloves when you get them. Again, that's just for min-maxing. You would get an extra, basically, roughly 17,000 and change base firepower, which is no joke. But again, completely unnecessary in all honesty, uh, for mopping up all the current content. So that is all the gear. Now let's take a quick moment to talk about how this playstyle goes. It's very, very simple. Basically, you wanna make sure you keep your weapon buff up at all times. And then all you're gonna do basically, anytime you have some enemies coming up to you, you wanna basically get them levitated and start shooting them. Now as soon as, you, as long as you're shooting something that is levitated, you're gonna look at your ammo, it won't go down now because this is a rapid fire shotgun notice how fast it empties so what you just want to make sure is just teleport behind enemies with your teleporter obviously here i can't teleport uh, before you run out of ammo and it's going to refresh all your ammo also don't forget you can initiate that way as well teleport in and then levitate to get both of your damage buffs up and then unload on them and then again, just keep a nice combo where as soon as you're about to run out of ammo, that's when you teleport. So yes, the teleporter is for maintaining your buff and getting around, but also you want to kind of learn to combo it so that you never run out of ammo. Now, the one good news is if you do run out of ammo, you'll notice that the cooldown for the trickster weapon buff is not nearly as bad 
as for the pyromancer or the technomancer so even here if you're having to jump around and get out and wait around for a few seconds while this comes back up it's not the end of the world so it's got a very lenient uh kind of a learning curve for it but it's very fast it's very mobile it's very very fun and as you saw in the video it's very very destructive in the intro um with that being said uh next thing if you want to check it out i'll do a full ct15 uh, playthrough so you can see kind of the gameplay and I'll see you guys on the other side.
All right, guys, so that was my Trickster Trespasser set Lazy Boy build. I hope you enjoyed it and find it helpful. If you did, do make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Let me know what you liked about this, what you didn't like about it, if you didn't like it, and also recommendations on what kind of videos when it comes to Outriders that you would like to see in the future. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one and have a happy new year.